Hi, this is Yvonne Galusha, Information Systems Professor, and I've had a few students ask that I provide a little more information, and mostly because they couldn't keep up on what I talked about in lecture, so that's the purpose for this recording, to help with Case 1 on Access. It's due this coming Friday. So what you're looking at here is Table Design View in an Access Database. What your case assignment is, is to set up a couple tables in the database, set up fields and validation rules, and then form with a calculated field. So I'm going to just highlight a few of the more difficult things. None of it's overly difficult, but I'll go over that in this little video. So in this design view, table design view is where you set up the field types and restrict it in setting up your validation rules. You'll notice one of the things that I didn't talk about in lecture was what if an ID has to start with a certain letter and be restricted to a certain size. Well, of course, you can set the field size here. And then, though, you have to further refine it by setting a validation rule saying, like, it must start the value with the letter B and followed by three digits. That's what the question marks represent. That is the validation rule. Then in the text, you need to tell the user how the correct value should be entered. So some message like, please enter first letter as B followed by three digits. So you get the idea. Now I'm going to remove this because I don't need that for this database, but I thought I would talk about that. The next thing I want to talk about is the lookup wizard. That's a nice validation rule technique when you have a limited amount of choices and so you just don't let the user type them, they select them from a drop down list. So for this database table, I want to have a degree field, which is very limited values, so that is a good candidate for a lookup wizard. First I need to add the field, so I'm going to have it above school. I'll insert a row here, type the field name, and it's going to end up being text, not very large. So we'll set the size, but I further want to refine it using this lookup wizard. Here we have a dialog box, so you want to say, in this case, I will type in the values. And we just need one column, but we want several, not several, a few different possible values. So it's a good idea to do this in alphabetical order. In this database, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Music, a doctorate, a master's, and then finally a PhD. So we say next and limit it to those in the list and no multiple values, finish. And if we then go over to design view, oh, I'm sorry, save it. <laughs> and we want to now go ahead and add values to this new field. So let me go ahead and quickly enter some of these for each of these records. I don't think it doesn't matter too much. I'm just kind of trying to at least use them all once. There we go. So the record values get accepted the minute you type them in. So the next thing I want to do is talk about on forms some things. So I'm going to create a form from scratch using the wizard from the table that I just worked on. So double click here and we get all of the fields moved over. Columnar is fine. That just means the fields will display in a column. Teacher 4 doesn't matter what the, this is the form name. And now we'll go ahead and uh, open the form. And this is what we have so far. Down here are the controls to move through the form. But what I want to get is a calculated field. Remember that calculated fields you do not typically store in a database because, for example, what if the pay increased? Then if you were storing, in my case, monthly pay, it may not get updated because you have to do it manually, where a calculated field displays the information on an as-need basis and it's always going to be accurate because it's calculated as needed. So let's go ahead and go over, whoopsie, I'll get it right yet. 
Let's go over to um, design.